guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had an amazing week. I've had a pretty good week, although it has been raining pretty much nonstop most of the week and it was pouring down rain this morning like ridiculous and now it is beautiful and sunny and I still have all this work to do, but I one of the reasons I love this office so much is that I have three huge windows and I get to look out on the marsh and see the bright big sunshine and the big sky out there. And I absolutely love this space. We moved into this house in August of last year, um, 2017, and we were living in Columbia, South Carolina in a really big, nice house, but it just wasn't where we really wanted to be. And I really, really, really like always my whole life have dreamed of living near the coast, near the beach. And so we just finally, after kind of a couple of rough years in our lives, decided, you know what, we are going to seize the moment and live our dream. And so we decided to move to the beach and we are now renting a house on the marsh about two miles from the beach and it is absolutely a dream life like okay so I definitely have this huge dream of someday owning a big mansion with a huge dock and a pool and everything right out back and like having that be a house that we own but this has been a dream of mine for a really long time to like live where I have this view of the water and to have a nice big office that's all my own and to live this close to the beach that we could go anytime. So we're not quite to the like number one dream yet of having the like million dollar house on the marsh near the beach, but we are renting the dream. So we're this close and you know what? That makes me ridiculously happy and I'm just gonna keep working hard toward my dreams and you know, celebrating every little step we get a little bit closer to it. But anyway, hopefully you guys have had a great week. I have had kind of a crazy week with the rain and with some drama going on in my life. I did not get the 20,000 words done that I had hoped to get done because I am still outlining and plotting this book, but there are a lot of really exciting ideas coming up as I'm working on it. And now I'm hoping and thinking that I will actually start writing the words on Monday. It's gonna be a busy week this weekend, or a busy weekend this weekend as I finish up the outline of the plot and um, really kind of solidify some things. I've been really, diving deep into some stuff that happened like long before Harper was born. If you're new to me, my best-selling series is The Shadow Demon Saga and I am currently working on book 10 of that series and there are a lot of things going into this book as I'm starting to set up what will happen in the end that um, I'm really like things I didn't even know about the world that are sort of coming up now. So it's a lot of fun and I've been working on that and I'm going to work on that this afternoon and I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride. But first I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys my office and show you where I get most of my work done. I do go out to like Barnes and Noble and a local coffee shop and honestly just upstairs on the couch sometimes to work, but I do get the majority of my work done here in this office and I absolutely love this space. It's my favorite space in this house and I will show you why in just a minute. All right guys, so this is my office. This is um, the first time that I've really had an office completely to myself since I started writing professionally. Sorry, it's a little bit coming off a little bit dark. Let me raise the brightness a little bit. This is the first time I've had an office of my own since I started writing full time because I usually share an office with my husband. And um, I just absolutely love this room. I love the rug that I got. I love the furniture. This furniture is um, actually Martha Stewart like crafting furniture. And I got this last year for my birthday and I love it. One of my favorite things about this room is there are beautiful beautiful views of the marsh outside we've got like kind of like a little marsh inlet here and these big windows that bring in a ton of light and this is something I couldn't do with my husband sharing a room with me because he does not like to have a lot of light and actually in our previous office he blacked out the windows completely like we put boards on them <laughs> and I love the light personally so we've got these three big windows not as gorgeous of a view out here because we have like the um, I don't know what you call that power station out there and a parking lot, but I've got these gorgeous palm trees. And if you look, if it'll focus across the street, there is really big, like big sky and big marsh view out there. 
And a lot of times in this little marsh space here in front of my desk, you can see like egrets and pelicans and lots of cool birds and stuff. I don't really see anybody out there today, but it usually is very, very beautiful. And straight that way is the beach, but you can't quite see it from here. You can see it from the top level of the house, but you can't see it from here exactly. But anyway, so this is my desk space. Um, fresh flowers, I try to keep fresh flowers if I can. I have my some of my planners back there. My friend Zoe got me this today, will be awesome plaque for my space. And I have a Mac down here. And upstairs I actually have a PC, which is what I game on, but I use the Mac a lot for my writing and for formatting my books. So that is down here in the office. Um, some of my planner stuff, because I'm going to be working in a little bit. Let me move this chair out of the way. So um, I act actually, I'll show you some of this stuff too, but I plan with my index cards. I've got a couple of the books I've been reading. Um, I've mentioned Christopher Pike so many times, but if you are a Christopher Pike lover or once loved Christopher Pike, shout out in the comments below because this writer was really like one of my favorite writers as a teen like he he was one of the few people writing teen horror and i just absolutely love christopher pike like i've read and own still just about every book he ever wrote and i've been reading back through them slowly just for fun so right now i'm reading this one master of murder and i want to read die softly next um but anyway so i've got those books here on my desk as always a bowl of washi tape because i use it all the time um, just some fake flowers that are pretty. I've got my sweet little Hello Kitty Swarovski here. Um, hopefully you can see her pretty good. I love this Hello Kitty. And then I have this little uh, truth bomb from Danielle Laporte that says inner attunement over outer attainment, which is kind of one of my mottos. I found this gorgeous strawberry scented candle. Oh my gosh, you guys, this candle smells so, so good. I got it at Home Goods. It's, um, DW home, but oh my gosh, that strawberry, I absolutely love it. And my husband is allergic to a lot of scents and stuff. So it's a fun thing that I can do in my office and not have to worry about him being affected by it. Pretty little lamp there at the back. One of my favorite prints here says, don't wish for it, work for it, which I love. I also got this calendar off of Etsy with every intention of writing out all of my word count that I got throughout the year. And as you can see, I kept up with it really well in January and about halfway through February, I completely fell off on it, but I do still have intention of going in and filling it out because I have my word counts in my planner. Um, so, you know, sometimes best laid plans. <laughs> so, all right. Over here is sort of my bigger open space that I do a lot of um, my plotting and crafting and stuff goes here. I have some books that I love, like business books, more washi tape, a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day. I've got this uh, pep talks for writers that was sent to me uh, by Grant Faulkner. He is the uh, founder or not founder, but executive director of National Novel Writing Month in November. And he's a good friend of mine. And this book is incredible. It's full of a bunch of sticky notes, but I'm going to be doing a review on this book on my author channel, my um, channel for authors, Heart Breathings coming up. So I've been reading it again. I've got a note that a notebook here, a Hello Kitty notebook that I keep a lot of notes in. Um, I found this like marquee thing at Michael's and i found this pretty little um, Ferris wheel thing and it says, I've made it say create your life because I am a firm believer in creating your life to be exactly the way you want it to be. So um, I've got that there as a reminder. I also have this uh, little, this actually was just a top, like a lid for a box and I covered it in some pretty wrapping paper that came from a gift someone gave me. And this is kind of like the washi tape that I've been using. Uh, in my planner this week. So I've got that there. And then I have my Cricut Explore, which is a cutting tool that I use to make my own stickers and just a few other little things here and there to round out my office. I've got this um, Hello Kitty, Vanderbilt Hello Kitty that my husband gave me because that's uh, my alma mater where I graduated from college. So I've got that always there. And these drawers are pretty much full of like crafting stuff. For example, my um, washi tape collection here 
if you guys want to see my craziness of how much I love washi tape, that is evidence of it right there. But I've got a bunch of stamps and other things in there as well. I can't show you on, on this wall over here. I have a bulletin board, so I'm actually going to cover up because I can't show you the whole thing of that because I've got book covers that you guys haven't seen. But I do have like my goal planning and things here. Um, a little picture of me when I was just a little, little girl, um, probably about five years old. <laughs> And um, just a little calendar that keeps me on track here. Sorry for the focusing. And then on this side of the room, I also have a filing cabinet that I actually got at a used place and spray painted this teal, which I love. Um, some boxes that I got from the container store. And um, are any of you guys fans of Ruby RWBY? Because Nora is my favorite, favorite character. So I have this always in my office of her. If you're a fan, let me know in the comments. I absolutely love Ruby. It's an American made anime. More pins as always. And then up here I have my Kanban board, which is uh, sort of just my goal tracking for the month. So I always am kind of moving that down. Um, I have a bathroom in my office, which is nice. A little print that says, follow your dreams. In that closet there, I have my printer and everything. And then I have this board set up here with my like beats and my wireless headphones. A little print that says, believe. Another one that says, uh, avoid reality at all costs, which I love. My Kate Spade book, some more Hello Kitty stuff kind of everywhere. Um, some pin jars and things. A uh, skull that's actually like a piggy bank from Urban Outfitters. Picture of my husband and I. I've also got this, I just recently pulled this out because I've got a ton of these like Hello Kitty and Tokidoki unicorns and the Hello Kitties uh, that came from, um, I don't know, one of these collector sets. And I have a ton of them and I used to keep them on display in my office, but I don't have a place to put them. So I'm trying to come up with a way to display all of my Hello Kitties without it getting kind of ridiculous. Um, so if you have any good ideas of how to display something like a bunch of tiny little cute things, let me know. <laughs> Some more planners, uh, camera lens is out. Go away, I'm reading, which is one of my favorite little plaques and just some other pens and things like that here that I keep stored. Um, some more notebooks. These are actually, they look like planners, but they're just notebooks. And that is pretty much my office. And um, it's relatively clean right now. <laughs> I go through stages of it being clean and not clean, but this is sort of really my favorite room in the house. So I mentioned this in a previous video, but when I'm plotting multiple POV, I love to have a color coded system so that I can really keep track of everyone. And from day one for me, Harper was always purple. I don't really know why, but Harper was always purple. And of course, for the first six books of the Shadow Demon Saga, she is the only point of view character. Um, and then when I branched out, I just always started seeing Jackson as blue and Leah is green, Airden is red, but I realized later on that really I kind of made a mistake like I should have had Jackson green because his eyes are green and Airden blue and then maybe Leah red, but eh, you know, I'm not going back to change it because now I already have this in my head of like these characters are these colors. So I've got pins that I keep track of their POVs with as well as multicolored um, index cards so that I can write their scenes and stuff down on these index cards. And then of course I use color coded washi tape to keep track and to make my pages look pretty. So I'm going to be working on that today. And I'm also going to be doing a little bit of writing for a short story that you guys are going to get to read that is tied to the Ruby gate. I think I've mentioned this a couple of times before, but it's sort of a fairy tale spin of a combination of the Aladdin story and Alibaba and the 40 thieves. And I've had this story, it's called one wish in my mind since the beginning of the year. And I've got it all plotted out, but I just haven't had a chance to sit down and write it. And I think I'm going to be offering this to you guys as a free read either on Facebook or my blog or, I thought it might be kind of fun to do a actual like live reading of the story 
over the course of several nights, maybe like here on YouTube Live. So comment below and let me know what you would think of me reading it to you and then offering it as a free download or something like that, because it might be kind of fun to read the story a little bit every night. I don't know, something fun I'm kind of thinking about doing. So anyway, I am going to get some work done. So let's go. All right, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for today's vlog. I did get a lot of work done, a lot of the outlining done. I know I've been working on it for a few weeks, but this honestly is one of the most time consuming parts of the entire writing process for me is just solidifying exactly what's going to happen in each of the scenes. And then when I actually start writing, it usually flows really, really easily. So for me, this is like the number one thing that takes the most time is really getting those scenes down. There are some writers who just have a spark of an idea and they just start writing, but I am definitely a plotter. So I have to really think about every scene, have the scenes written down, really be familiar with where I'm going with the story. And because we're getting so close to the end of the series, I'm also trying to make a decision as I plot this of whether there's just going to be one book after this, which would be book 11, or if there's going to be two remaining books, I'm really starting to feel like there's no way, I mentioned this before, that there's no way I can finish this in just one book after this. So I think there's going to be two, but I don't have a cover. I don't have a title for that. I don't know exactly how I'm going to work that out in terms of my schedule. But if there, you know, if it needs some more books, it needs more books. I definitely want to do what I can to stay true to the story and to what it needs. So I have to just go where the story seems to take me. So it should be a lot of fun. Just know there probably will be an announcement coming out about that probably in the next couple of weeks as I finish the plotting of this one and start writing Deceiving Darkness and um, getting more into it. Also as a quick update, I am almost finished with the paperbacks and then I will send the dimensions out to my cover artists. And as soon as those get done, I will be announcing not only some giveaways for the paperbacks with the brand new covers on them. The, well, they're not super new covers, but 
the paperbacks have never had the newer rebranded covers. So I will be doing some giveaways of those and also we'll have some for sale that are signed copies by me available on uh, my website. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout for announcement about paperback copies. There are also going to be some t-shirts and other swag that's going to be available, some posters and t-shirts. I'm just trying to decide what I want the t-shirts to say. So if you have any suggestions on that, I'm also gonna be running some uh, polls on what you want those t-shirts to say. And finally, tomorrow, Saturday, August 4th. What is today? Is today the 4th or the 3rd? Hold on. Saturday, August 4th. I am gonna be doing a Facebook Live in on my page at facebook.com slash Sarah Cannon at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And I know that, that the times don't always work for everyone. That's why I've been kind of trying to do it at different times, but this one is gonna be at 6 p.m. Eastern. So I will post on my page with a link that will give you the time difference. So if you're in Australia or if you're in the UK or if you're in California, this will give you the correct time because I'm 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is like New York time. So wherever you are in the world, you can just Google and say, what's 6 p.m. EST in my time zone? And Google will tell you. But I'm going to post a link that um, somebody told me will auto calculate your time zone from the time. So I will post that on my page. Please come follow me if you are not already following me on my page. And we will have a Facebook Live tomorrow where um, potentially I will tell you more about this one wish story that I am working on and I will answer a few questions that people have sent to me throughout the week this week. If you do have some questions for me, please leave them in the comments below, send me an email or mention them on my page or in my coven, my Facebook group, come join us over there. There has been a great discussion going on this week about who would be the best actors or actresses to play the various characters in a movie and that has been a lot of fun to be a part of. All right guys, so that is the end of this Friday video blog. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing my office and getting a little bit of work done with me. I will hopefully see you tomorrow in my Facebook live on Saturday on my page at facebook.com slash Sarah Cannon. And if I don't see you there, then I will see you again in Monday's video. Have a great weekend. Bye.